Hey, Christian here, founder of Second Life Coaching, and welcome to what is the seventh um, in the Estranged series, and this one is It Gets Better. I know we've talked a lot about all the negative things that have come along with it, the hard bits, the, the, the angry messages, the silent treatment, the, you know, and, and dealing with all the, you know, really the pain and the anguish of what we're going through as parents. Uh, and before I get into the meat of tonight's discussion, I just want to take a couple minutes and say, when I first started this a little over a year ago, um, it was just a way to kind of tell my story. I never expected, never in my life expected for it to reach and touch so many people's lives. Uh, over the last year or year plus, I've received so many emails and comments and Facebook messages and from parents all over, really all over the world who are going through um, the, you know, the same situation. It's been eye-opening to say the least. And to each and every one of you who has watched these and or commented or sent me a message or now some of us are even Facebook friends I want to say thank you and thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for reaching out and from the bottom of my heart I am eternally grateful that the story has touched you I'm thankful to every for every Every single one of you who has watched and spoken and emailed and commented and everything, this is not, you know, you're finding out just like I am, this is not an uncommon occurrence. This is, and you're not alone. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for, you know, being there for me as much as you've said I've been there for you. Um, so with that being said, uh, let's get into a little bit of the meat of tonight. Um, I realize, like I said at the beginning, we've talked a lot about um, all the negative things that go along with this, the, the pain and the hurt and the anguish and you know the angry messages. And one of the things I've kind of realized over the last little bit is I've read the comments, especially on the ones, you know, some of the videos have reached nearly 5,000 views now, which is mind blowing to me, is that the one thing we haven't really talked about is the healing process. You know, we've talked about it in the comments section. We've talked about it by emails, those of you that reached out. But there, I haven't, you know, we haven't talked face to face through video. And so I want to, I want to tell you something, and I want you to hear me. It does get better. You know, it it really does. It may not seem like it. It may seem like the hurt and the pain is never ever going to go away and the the emptiness that you feel inside is never ever going to be filled and it's always going to be there but i'm here to tell you as someone who's been through this and been through it for a few years it does get better you know i can't promise you that it'll go away completely you know and i can't promise you any sort of time frame on how long it'll take before it gets better. I can only promise you that it does. You know, the days, and, you know, it, the periods between when you feel horrible or sad or just like you can't go on will get further apart. For some of you, that'll be, you know, one day you wake up and it'll be a couple of hours in between, some days, some weeks. And eventually it will spread out until the point where you're kind of back on normal life. You know, you're back doing you, you know, and those times are going to come up where it's got something will catch you off guard. It'll be a holiday. It'll be an, an anniversary. It'll be a birthday. It'll be a song on the radio. Um, something on the television will, will trigger a memory and you'll have a sad moment. But those sad moments will begin to lose their power. That they're going to lose, you know, their 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 hold over you, and when those times come up, 
one of the things I've learned and what I want you to do is I want you to embrace it. I want you to acknowledge it. And then I want you to let it go. You know, they say misery loves company, but who really wants to be around a miserable person? Not me, not you, you know, not the people in your life. You know, they'll be there for you to walk with you for, you know, quite a while. But eventually, they want to see you be healthy. They want to see you be happy. They want to see you be back to the person, you know, that they knew when they first met you. The fun, you know, all, all, you know laughter-filled, ridiculous, goofy-ass person that you are. And it takes time to heal. But you will get back there. You know, I'm sitting here a few years into this. Um, my oldest daughter and I are talking through Facebook Messenger, you know, but it's a start and I appreciate it and I love it and it's really kind of cool that, you know, after the few years, you know, we're, we're chit-chatting again. It's on and off, you know, it's not like it used to be, but it is getting better. You know, my middle one still haven't, you know, there's still no contact there, so that's going to take a little more time. But overall, you know, there were a couple of years where I was just a huge miserable mess. You know, people in my life can testify to how just sad and depressed and down and low energy and just miserable I was. And I hated everything. I hated TV shows. I hated commercials, you know, holidays, all of it because I couldn't face going through those without them. But as years go by, and I've come to accept kind of how things are, and I've forgiven, you know, everyone, including myself, for the things, you know, I did as a parent, which, you know, we all of us parents screw up. You know, we all do the best that we can with what we have, and Sometimes it's, you're not the parent that they need. And, you know, back about a year ago, I wrote both of them a letter um, apologizing and saying that and saying, you know, I know I wasn't always the dad you needed, to, you know, and I wasn't always the greatest father, but I did the best I could. And, you know, I'm sorry. And I asked them to forgive me. For me, that was a turning point in the healing process because I had actually gotten to a point where I could forgive myself and release all of that and start walking in a path of healing to the point where I could start enjoying life again. And that's what I mean by learning to let that bit go. You know, some of you may not have that option of having contact. Write the letter. Then, you know, if you got the ability to, you know, burn it and release that energy into the universe, free it from the pages and let it go out so that it's not inside you anymore, do so. Those of you that have the, have the ability, send the letter. Handwrite it. Don't type it out. Handwrite it. It's a bit more personal and a bit more, it's a bit more connective. When, you're, when you handwrite something out because it's, it's flowing from you to the page and not through a screen and through a printer. And I can promise you that once you do that, things start to change. You start to feel a little better. You know, the, the sadness gets further and further apart. You know, you wake up the next morning, the sun shines just a little bit brighter and you're able to do a little bit more than you were the day before. So it does get better. That I can promise you. I think it's time. It's time to start talking about healing. It's time to start talking about how to get through this and what you know, I did and what you can do and what we can do together as a community to get through this together so that you can go back to being you know, happy, filled, fulfilled, and full.
because you know what? There are other people in your life that need you that way. So, again, this is Christian. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you've said over the year. Um, I hope this video finds you well, and I hope that we can continue along this journey together, and I hope we can walk towards healing all together. So, I'm going to go back inside now. I'm sitting out here in a patio. It's a gorgeous Florida evening. But it's time to be done and time to chill for a little bit and maybe watch a little bit of pole dark and get this up on the YouTube. So, ah, you got this. I got your back. Peace.